Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my blush declutter. So I already did my highlighters, I did my bronzers. A lot of you guys have been loving them. And I've been having a blast filming them, honestly. Like... I think it just was time, you know? Just like with my highlighters and bronzers, if any of you guys are interested in any of the products, you can definitely message me on Instagram, first come, first serve, if you do want to purchase any of these products. And then of course, 10% of the money that I make will be going to a family in need. Yay. I think that's pretty much it. I will leave my declutter playlist down below if you guys want to watch that. Ah, this is good stuff. I'm so excited. And then I can't wait for my makeup collection video because it's going to be so good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here are the drawers that we're working with. If you guys have been watching my Shop My Stash videos, you do know that I have here one drawer of blushes. Oi, ugh, that almost fell. Um, that is definitely kind of like overstuffed. I will probably have the hardest time with my blushes because I'm really, really attached to most of these. But I'm going to try to do my best and get rid of just blushes that I typically don't use. And then also, I wanted to show you guys that I do have some blushes here on my shelf. So some of them I did purchase from TJ Maxx. But most of these like love flush blushes I did purchase from sephora a few years back i'm not gonna get rid of any of them there's one two three four five pieces chilling in here i, I just love how like cutesy they look displayed so they're staying home with mommy so honestly i'm not gonna lie here i am having a teeny little baby bit of anxiety okay so the first palette we have up on the agenda is the natasha denona bloom palette this was somewhat of a recent purchase for me i absolutely love this the quality is just out of this world there are two cream blushes and two powder like blushes this is kind of like a highlighter ish depending on your skin tone but this is what i'm going to keep because i purchased like three months ago and i still want to keep this baby in my life so keeping all right next palette that i have up is the nars hot trust palette this is one that i am going to declutter so we're starting this off pretty and on a pretty good note here's what the palette looks like so there's a selection of blushes in here and some highlighters i did like this i wasn't absolutely in love with it I don't know what it was about this palette. I feel like I just had higher expectations. I also kind of got it because of how like cool the interior part looks and then also how like badass the outer packaging is. But um, I don't know, kind of over now. This feels nice though, so declutter. Next palette that we have up is the Orgasm Infatuation Palette by NARS. Sexuality right here. I did really like this palette for the reason that it had everything in one. Laguna Bronzer and Orgasm Blush as well as Orgasm Highlighter. Um, I haven't used it in a very long time and the last few times that I've gone traveling, I did not take this with me. Um, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I'm decluttering you, okay? Wow. Who are you, Leora? The next palette that we have up is the Tarte Blush Bliss Palette. This is giving me such Aladdin vibes, like Jasmine, honestly, like from Aladdin, you know what I mean? Very cute. I really enjoyed this palette during the holidays. It did come out holiday 2018, I wanna say. I love the colors in here. They're very pigmented. They last a long time on the cheeks. I think I do own other like Tarte-ish palettes. And I mean, I use it a nice amount like during the holidays and stuff, but I haven't used it in like a solid few months. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. This is kind of like hard for me, but you know what? I'm just gonna be real with myself, okay? Stop keeping shit you're not using. People wanna use this stuff. Stop it. The next palette that I have up here is the Pure Blush Book. This is actually pretty massive, I have to say. I love the fact that these are um, removable, so you can totally take them out of the palette and put it like in a Z palette or another palette if this is just not your style. Um, these are hella pigmented like probably the most pigmented blushes i ever tried in my life even if i use every single shade in here for the rest of my life every single day i probably will not hit pan on them <laughs> that's how pigmented they are so i did use it a lot last year like it was one that was pretty much my go-to but since then other lovers have come into my life so this one's gonna have to say goodbye to my to my life <laughs> bye all right, let's talk about one that I'm going to keep. This is the Alamar um, Cosmetics Blush Palette. This came in, I think, BoxyCharm. Obsessed with this. So here's what the palette looks like. We get a peachy shade, a pinky peachy shade, and then like a rosyish type of color. These are gorgeous blushes. They're, not, they're more like a satin finish, and they just look really stunning on the face. I think the next time I go traveling, I'll probably take this with me because, you know what I mean? Like, it speaks for itself. Yum. Keep. The next blush palette that I have here is the Tardis, um like notebook blush palette. This is just the cutest thing alive. My dream is to open up a school supply store and a makeup store in one. That would be like, I would just like, I would faint if that happens because I love school supplies and I love makeup just as much. This palette definitely hit home for me for a very, very long time. I got a nice amount of use out of the bronzer and then this blush right here in, what is that called? Wawa. It's a gorgeous like peachy shade. The other shades were really nice as well, but like for example, this one I didn't use too much and then like this one I didn't use a lot. I will say that it is a little bit weighted. That's why I never really took this with me traveling. 
Also with this one, just like the um, Tarte like blush palette, I use this a nice amount during like, the holidays. I did a review on it. I really do like it. I think the quality is nice, but I haven't like I, I haven't picked it out on a shop my stash in a, in a while. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye. You know, it's, it's time. Let's talk about a singular baby right here. This is the Benefit California blush in uh, just a deluxe size. If you guys have been watching my videos for quite some time. Um, open up nicely. Come on, we gotta do this. Um, you will know that this is definitely one of my favorite blushes of all, 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 all time. If I had to probably choose one blush, it would most probably be this one. It's just perfection, especially for the summertime. It looks, it looks sexy on. Like, orangeness galore right over here. So this I'm for sure keeping. And I love, like, the baby box. You're so cute. This one is super hard for me. It's crazy. So this was in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So basically it is a duo. We get a champagne pop here on top and then flower child on bottom. Um, I really enjoyed this when it came out. I love both of these products, great quality. I haven't used it in such a freaking long time. I will say that I love champagne pop, but I don't know. I kind of feel like it's not that universal. Like, I remember Jacqueline said that it kind of is, but I don't, I don't think that it is, you know, because it's like a little bit too dark when I'm fair, you know? Um, as much as I want to keep this for the collector in me, I think that I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. I don't know. It just doesn't spark joy as much as it used to in a way, so bye. <laughs> ah! What am I doing to myself? Next little blush I have here is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. Obviously keeping this child. I love this. I'm in love with orangey blushes plus the packaging. Too Faced, come on, it's just me. This smells like peach candy. I will say that it's not crazily pigmented and it's not like super beyond soft, but on the skin, it really just adds that beautiful like blushed effect, you know? So I'm gonna keep that. Mm, all right, we're doing this. This is the <laughs> Benefit Blush Bar, like a blush palette. Okay, so we get the California Blush, which is one of my favorites, Gold Rush, Dandelion, Rockator, and Hula Bronzer. And then a little brush came in here, but I don't, I don't know where it is. I really like this. I just do not tend to use it a lot. As much as I say it's an all-around great go-to type of palette, you know, because you have everything in one. I just don't pull this out. I just do not, you know? So being realistic here, declutter. The next little palette I have here is the Pure Bronze and Brighton like trio. I loved this last year. This orange like blush, blush topper was like an addiction of mine. This highlighter was also really beautiful. This was a great bronzer to top over like my matte regular bronzer just because it has a little bit of like a luminous finish to it. If you have a deeper skin tone, these can probably work as highlighters for you. But if you have like a light to medium complexion, you could still kind of play around with this and it would work, you know? I haven't used it in a very long time. I'm not that into it as much anymore. I feel like my makeup preferences have changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. I then have this gorgeous palette here from Becca. This is called the Blushed with Light palette. So we get three blushes in here with Syria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. This I know that I own in a singular form. These two I don't really use a ton. I would only keep this just for this, but if I already have it in a singular form, why do I need this in my life? As much as the packaging is gorgeous, as much as I want to keep it, the next palette that I have up is this one. This is the Sun Chaser palette, gorgeous as well. So we get a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. This is Opal, um, this is Apricot Blossom, and this, and this bronzer is Ipina Sunset, I think that's how you pronounce it. I like this definitely more than the previous one I just showed you guys, just because it has like, you know, highlighter, blush, and bronzer. Easier to use, definitely great for traveling. As much as I say that, I just, <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying goodbye to this because I really don't use it. Hopefully somebody else will enjoy it. It's a great quality palette all in one and it kind of bothered me to say goodbye, but at the end of the day, I just want to be honest with myself, you know? So, bye. The next palette that I have up on the agenda is the ABH Blush Little Kit. This was limited edition. I really like this. So it includes four different blushes, a peachy blush, some pinky blushes, and like a raspberry shade. I don't know. I really want to keep it. <laughs> But like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like this is like in the middle for me. Um, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this one, okay? Keeping, I love it, the quality's insane. The next blush I have up is this Marc Jacobs blush in, um, what is this called? Flesh and Fantasy. I don't think I've used this more than five times. I do really like it. My friend Leah recommended it to me and I purchased it. The formula is insane. I just don't necessarily use such shades. I don't know, I just don't gravitate towards such colors even if I'm going for a more natural like makeup look. I like to know that I have like, you could, I like to know that you could see my blush, you know what I mean? <laughs> From 65 miles away and with this, it's more of like a neutral natural blush that blends into your skin in a way. And I know some people are into that, but for me, 
I used it a few times and I'm like, I like it, but I'm not like crazy over it. So I'm gonna declutter this. Sorry, Leah, don't kick my ass. The next blush trio I have up is this one from ABH. It's in Pink Passion. I know that they did have these blush palettes at um, TJ Maxx for some time. This I actually purchased for the full price tag from Sephora. Um, I actually have a few other ones of these that I purchased from TJ Maxx actually now I'm thinking. And I like the color stories in those palettes more than this one. The only shade I really liked in here was this one. This one was a little bit like not for me. It used to be for me, not anymore. And this one I just don't tend to use a lot. So for that reason, I think I want to declutter it. I just, I don't really enjoy this so much anymore. Color story. So the quality is great. The color story is not for me. I have two of these afterglow blushes here from Urban Decay. The formula of these are amazing. So this one right here is in the shade Indescent. It's a really nice light peachy color. This I'm going to go ahead and keep. I need it. And then this one right here is in the shade Fetish. It's more of like a mauve toned blush. I don't, I don't really love these kind of colors. Even though I feel like fall is coming up like really, really soon. I'll probably be like, sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Next one up is this Hourglass Blush Palette. It's a trio of three gorgeous blushes. Um, I don't know what it is, but Hourglass definitely has it down with their formula. This looks beyond seamless on the face. Anytime like I'm going to a wedding or I'm going to a special major event, um, I try to use this. For my brother's wedding last year, this is what I used, and it just stays on for forever, doesn't emphasize anything. It's just amazing quality. So, so I'm definitely gonna keep this for sure. I love it. The next little blush I have here is from Becca. This is in Snapdragon. It's really beautiful. Very, um loud i should say and it has like a luminous finish i do really like this it's also very very pigmented but i don't know i think that, i think that declutter it you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know i don't want to i don't want to keep too much this blush right here is from mac it is in the shade gentle my sister actually purchased this for me i want to say about six seven years ago i have such amazing memories with this it was my first mac blush ever that was when i was just getting into like mac in general and she promised me she would buy me a blush, and she did. She bought me this, and I'm just like, I just love it. It means so much to me. It means the world, so I don't think I would ever get rid of this in, like, my entire life. So I'm going to keep this for sure. I like the quality, too. It's actually pretty good, but mainly for nostalgic reasons. The next blush we have here is from Flower Beauty in the shade Warm Hibiscus. This is pretty stunning. It also has more of, like, a luminous finish to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it just because I feel like it emphasizes my pores just a teeny bit. If you have, like, porcelain skin, like, beyond flawless, this would be great, but if you have somewhat of like pores going on basically <laughs> i feel like it emphasizes a little bit and you know my, my pores are bigger than my entire house so declutter the, the next palette i have here is the wonder beauty wondrous dusk to dawn palette so it does come with a mirror two blushes and then a highlighter i think i want to declutter this i never got down with it to begin with and i just don't like that my brush can't like fit in there like beyond perfectly so bye next one up is this mac oh my passion kind of like blush i should say but Here's what it looks like basically. With these kind of products, I'm always confused because I'm like, wait, blush, bronzer, what's the story? Um, I put it in my blush drawer because it is a little bit more like a blush type of color. Let me show you guys here. You guys can see here. But I guess depending on your skin tone, you know, it'll be different for everyone. Um, I'm going to declutter this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I was into it for a certain period of time. I didn't use it like a crazy amount of times though. I just wanted like for the packaging and the collector in me. But it's just been sitting here and I'm pretty sure somebody else could, you know, make more use out of it for sure. So declutter. The next palette I have here is this Milani Flowers of Love palette. It's in 01 basically. The only shade I pretty much use from here is this one as you guys can see. This one is also one that I kind of enjoyed. This one, the third one, I don't really use that much. But I have a different one. One second. This one right here is in 02 Floral Fantasy. With this one, I only use this blush. But I do think that... Like, I want to keep this just for this. And I want to keep that just for one of the shades. But, but I actually think that I use the other one more than this one. So this one right here, I'm going to declutter. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would look great on you. But this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and keep. Because it has, like, a mm, raspberry blush. And then that, like, peachy type of blush that I like. And then this... Maybe I'll use, I don't know, but I don't think I need both, so we're just gonna keep 01, get rid of 02. The next blush I have here is from Tarte, and it's in the shade Quirky. One of their like smaller deluxe sizes, but there's a ton in here. I'm gonna get rid of this because I haven't used it in such a long time, so uh, nothing is gonna change in the next year, so <laughs> goodbye. I also have this Physicians Formula Butter Blush in what is this called? Rosy Pink. Declutter this. I like it, I think the formula is nice, but the color is just not 100% for me, and I just think the packaging is just way too bulky for my life at this point so be clever the next blush i have here is this a buxom blush this is in ibiza you know i took a pill and mm -hmm. the quality of this blush is insane it's so pigmented i'm honestly sometimes even scared to use it because you know me if i go heavy-handed like i can blend my life out but with this one like once it's like there it doesn't really blend like super seamlessly but it does last forever on the cheeks i just have to be a little bit careful I'm gonna keep it because it's one of my like recent 
ish purchases. I purchased them maybe like five, six months ago. So I still want to go ahead and get some use out of it. The next palette I have here is this one from Too Faced. It's the Love Flush Blush Palette. This came out a few years back. You guys can see my mirror is broken. I did have it like in a project pan at some point in my life. So I hit pan on this shade. It was my favorite. You guys know I love these orangey kind of colors. Let me know if you guys want to see me do like project pan videos. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm into it. But then sometimes I'm like, nah. But let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, I think I want to go ahead and keep it. I do like it. And I just, I do get a lot of use out of it from time to time. Now that I'll have less blushes, this will be like right in front of my face, you know? So keep. The next blush we have here is from the brand Note. And it's in the shade Desert Rose. Really gorgeous terracotta blush. Um, I don't tend to use it way too much, but the formula is sickly insane. I'm going to declutter it, but the person that is going to receive this is going to be the happiest person alive. Seriously. The next blush I have here is from Burt's Bees. It's in the shade Bare Peach. I do really love this. I think that it sits beautifully on the skin. When you swatch it, it actually feels like ass, like really rough, like sandpaper. I don't know why that is, but on the cheeks, it does look really pretty. I feel like I have a lot of shades like this, and at some point in my life, I need to put my foot down. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I think I have like 15 shades that are super similar to this. So bye. The next blush I have here is from Essence. Adore this. I recently did an Ulta haul last week actually around this time and I purchased this, swatched it, been using it a little bit here and there. It's so good for like three bucks. What the hell? It's in the shade Peach Me Up and I've actually been using it as an eyeshadow too just for like that peachy pinky look and it's amazing so I'm gonna keep this. The next blush I have here is from MAC. This was in collaboration with The Simpsons. It's in the shade Pink Sprinkles. You guys know how I am with like MAC. I don't know, blushes and powders in general. I love The Simpsons. Also really nostalgic for me. My brothers and I and my sister used to always watch um, The Simpsons 24-7. My brother has like literally all the seasons. So it definitely holds a very special place in my heart. Um, I think though I'm ready to move on and part with this. I know for some it might be like, um, yeah, get a life. It's just makeup. But like sometimes you have those connections to makeup pieces or different things in your life that remind you of good times, you know? I will always have that memory. I don't feel like I need to have this to have that memory. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to say goodbye to this. This is definitely a really hard one for me, but you know what I mean? It's time. Next blush that I have up is from The Bomb. This is Frat Boy. I actually, I haven't used this in probably a year. So there's my answer. Declutter, even though it's a great color, great formula, wonderful packaging, perfect for traveling. I just don't use it. So bye. <laughs> bye. The next blush I have here is from Milani. It's in the shade Romantic Rose. I did really like this. I do really like it. The formula is great. A little bit light, so definitely something that's pretty buildable. Um, I'm ready to part with this. I've had it for quite some time and I'm just kind of over it. So I think I want to say goodbye. Wow. I really hope that I'm not going to be sorry after this video because <laughs> I'm having anxiety once again from the weirdest thing. Next one up is this Milani blush in Luminoso. Also, you guys can see it's an orangey type of shade. One of my favorites. I'm going to keep it very, very beautiful on the skin. Next blush that I have here is from L'Oreal. This is uh, the, what is this? Paradise Enchanted Blush in Fantastical. So pretty. Again, orange vibes. When you swatch this, it feels pretty soft. Actually, it feels delicious. It looks like crap, but it feels soft. And on the skin, no words. Keeping. I then have these two baby blushes from NARS. This one right here is an orgasm. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. As much as I say I'm going to use it, I just haven't in a while, so bye. And then this is the next blush that I have up from NARS. I don't want anyone kicking my ass, but basically that's the name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just don't know. I don't know everything in this world. Anyway, it's a really beautiful raspberry shade, but I'm going to declutter this. I have this beautiful blush here from Essence in the shade Satin Coral. I like this. It's like a nice orangey shade. I don't know if it was limited edition. I'm thinking, though, I already have the other blush by Essence, so... Um, I'm keeping that. <laughs> keeping. The next blush I have here is from LA Girl. It's in the shade Just Playful. I feel like I have a few of these kind of shades around and I'm just, I'm not, I, I like it, but I'm not beyond obsessive over it, so I'm going to declutter it. Then the next two palettes I have here are these two. Extremely nostalgic for me. They are a little bit more on the older side, so I feel like a collector's item, collector's piece, whatever. This is the NARS Guy Borden palette. There are some blushes in here, a highlighter, and then um, Laguna Bronzer. The shades are still really nice, very smooth in consistency, and they do perform well. Uh, just, li <laughs> just like with the um, Simpsons blush, it's it definitely holds a very special place in my heart, but I kind of feel like I'm just keeping and keeping and keeping it. Like, I want to keep it, but then it's just sitting and sitting here, and I have a few other pieces that are, like are nostalgic for me. I don't need to have 8,000 pieces of nostalgic pieces, you know? So as much as this is going to be pretty tough, I'm going to declutter it. 
It was limited edition, but I'm ready to say goodbye. It's wow, it's just, it's wow, but we're doing um, kick-ass style here. And then finally, the last palette that I have up is the Tarte Off The Cuff palette. This is what started it all, I kind of feel like, with like the Tarte like blush palettes. I think that the Desi & Katie palette has kind of like the similar packaging. I did use this shade a lot. It's like a bronzer. It was my first like bronzer, bronzer shade. And when I started getting into bronzers, I like went ham on this. Um, my favorite blush in here was this one. I used to be obsessed with like blue tone pink shades. Um, it's just like the baby in me, like the baby Liora. And as much as I love her and feel like she needs this in her life, she's grown in a way where she can kind of let go. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this. As much as I love, love, love it, the formula is amazing. It's time to say bye. What the hell? Who am I? I don't know. I don't know what I did with Leora. This is just not, this is not me. What is this? So I ended up keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> Round of applause, please, now. And then here are all the blushes that I'm going to be getting rid of. It's a total of 30. So I did I did extremely well. Like, my numbers are insane. So that was pretty much it. Once again, I'm just always so blown away with myself. Because, like, I don't expect to get rid of as much as I get rid of. You know what I mean? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And I'll see you lovebirds in my next video. Bye.